What's up people? It's AVG here today. Today's not a good day, man. Um, I was doing some PvP with a new build. Um, I'm main handing my Scorpion Stinger and off handing a Enchanted Falchion that you can find uh, during the playthrough. And I thought I can do something fun with this build, but as you can see along, like I, I'm gonna be a, like doing really poorly in this game, in this video. Um, but that's okay. You know what? Dark Souls 2 just came out for like less than two months. There's still a lot of things to learn, a lot of things to try. It's okay. But some of these matches, I just lose like completely bad. Like, what am I doing, man? I'm just frailing my arms. Like, just frailing, hitting the air, like rolling away. <laughs> and hitting nothing. Like, what What am I doing? Man? Uh, I'm so bad at this game right now. Um, for those of you who are trying this game out, don't do what I'm doing. Like, just roll, attack, roll, attack. And then you get into the pattern and then you get predicted. And then, like this, you get killed. I'm missing my Claymore so much. Because I used the Claymore in Dark Souls 1, and the move set seems pretty much the same from that point. And it's, it's actually a really bad habit of me. Like, I can do a lot of different tricks with the Claymore, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with these weapons. Like, all I'm doing is just running in, attack, roll, attack, roll, attack. Like, look at me. Like, I'm just roll and then try to attack and I'm, oh man I just get stun locked and now I'm almost dead well I'm dead now you know dark orbs and all that stuff resonance soul whatever the dark magic they're really 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 fast and they sort of seem kind of overpowered like casting speed should not have been buffed in Dark Souls 2 I think like casting should not be buffed in general it was quite good in Dark Souls 1 I think it didn't need to be like buffed in PvP I think like in any aspect if one skill is dominating the others that's no good that's not fun you, you, you don't allow like experimentations if one one certain build has no equal to it nobody can solve it but like I said before this game is just two months old and there's still a lot of things people can try and yeah like the sentient spear like I thought that was a cool cool weapon but obviously it appears to be overused in the community now but you know like uh, for me, I think the Claymore beats that spear any day because <laughs> the reach is longer, the uh, poise damage is higher, and for me, I think the Claymore is still the best weapon in this game, hands down. Although I haven't tried a lot of different weapons, but I think like part of it is because like when I try new builds, I get over hyped. I get excited, I get nervous, and I don't I'm not thinking what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I just run in, roll and try to get a backstab and or or hit from the behind or just try to get hit. But that's not how you play. That's 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 how you play that might be how you play for Claymore. That's like the same tricks don't don't work here. And yeah, and I'm forcing it too much. Like holy shit, like I'm just blanking out. I got hit by a jump attack. What the fuck? That's so bad. And man, these guys aren't that good either. Like, they're not top top tier players. And I'm losing like, I'm some, some sort of noob. <laughs> oh well, that's what you get for trying like new builds and trying to practice with it. Like, I should learn what the strength is for the Scorpion Stinger and try to make sure I know what to do with it. But I'm not. 
I'm just going in there like an idiot and try to make things work. And the Falchion has actually a pretty good moveset that I'm not taking advantage of. So, yeah, like, what the hell? See, like, the Scorpion should be used like that, like, just sudden poke. But then, you get punished like this. This guy is actually quite smart. Like, he's showing me only two swings. The whole entire game, he's only showing two swings. Makes me think that he only has stamina for both. It makes me think like he's a noob. Maybe he is. But holy shit. You'll see. He's using... He's actually using his moveset to get him out of position. Which is really... Well, that's what it seems like he's doing. I don't know. Like that. He could have finished me there. I. That's what made me think that he has stamina for two, two swings only. So here. I'm trying to wait for the second swing. Go in and hit him, and I I succeeded, right? Well, that's what I thought. Like, and then, oh shit, he actually has enough for four. God damn it. He played me like a fool. Dark Souls, man. Dark Souls. I think what sets Dark Souls apart from other fighting games is the fact that you don't know what the opponent has. You don't know their stats. You can't figure out how many swings he can do. You don't know the potential. And therefore, you can't predict. You can't react to certain things. This guy, I don't know what he's doing. This, this guy's weird. Like, he's just standing there looking out in the window. And then he's running over, looking at the window again. Uh, looking at across the scene and, and then he faces back in against me and I'm like what the fuck is he doing is he running why is he running and then he's rolling he's he's trying to get away from me and then I'm like what the fuck are you doing the fuck are you doing man I, I clear this place already I there's no there's no enemies here just fight me and then I, I suck you can punch me right I'm seeing a lot of people using a punch and they're really good. And then I, yeah, look at that. Like, boom, 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 boom. It's so fast. Holy shit, overpowered. Talk about overpowered, man. You just swing your fist like that. I'm pretty sure that's like the fastest speed, right? That should be the fastest speed. It deals a heck of a lot of stun damage, too. So, yeah, like. My advice for new PvP Dark Souls players is don't get discouraged if you see people like dominating your weapon build. Like right now, I'm, my, my weapons aren't dealing enough damage. That's probably one of the bigger problems I have. I guess I can buff it up with like a magic weapon or something, but I don't, I don't, I don't technically, I really don't like buffs. Like, like I don't know. I really hate doing buffs because, like, if you rely on your buff to deal with the damage, then you might as well just use a different weapon. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So yeah. So you can see, like, some of these players don't buff, which is cool. This guy doesn't buff. He has a... He has a pretty nice... Well, I wouldn't say. He's, he's more like a turtle with a shield. And he's trying to parry me because he saw me spam it. But... You know, like, that was just my bait for him to start parrying me, but... Now I'm showing him that move. Every time I roll, he's gonna... He's gonna try to parry me. That's what I... That's what I'm thinking, right? That's my progress in learning a build. But I'm getting hit so many times for no reason at all. Like, look at that. Like, what, what the hell am I standing there and not moving? So here, I'm gonna try it again. There you go. I delayed that attack. I knew he was going to go for it, and then I wait for it and hit him. Well, it looked like he was going to parry me, but I guess it, I got lucky, maybe. But you know, like my even though I hit him so many times, it's like I don't have enough health. And then he hit me with that, and it's over. I'm seeing a lot of people with that dragon armor, and well, dragon helmet. 
maybe not the armor. The armor he's having is pretty much the same as mine. The Alun, Alun Captain armor. I think that's how you say it. But oh well, you can't win them all, I guess. Well, this is the end. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and maybe next time I'll do better. Toodles, guys.